So the IVD bimbo case is far from over. For those of you who don't already know, IVD has been remanded in prison for accusations regarding the death of his wife, Bimbo. And their story was all over the news back in 2022, how they had a fight in the house which led to a fire outbreak that eventually killed Bimbo, IVD's wife. So at the time, we were told you know, that Bimbo was the one who set the fire on herself and Ikechiku Obona, that is IVD, was present there and escaped the fire but came out of the house and possibly watched his wife burn. So we know now that there were three people who were present at the time, Bimbo's friends and one of IVD's worker. And it was one of Bimbo's friends that eventually took her to the hospital where it was confirmed that she could not make it and she passed. It was under the impression that during the fight, Bimbo was the one who set the fire on herself that killed her. But you know, that is actually something to question. It turns out that all the witnesses who were present at the fight did not remember Bimbo setting herself on fire. One of the witnesses there only said that because that was what IVD told them. So there's a chance that maybe that may have not been the case. But regardless of what happened there, the court case that is ongoing right now is placing IVD in prison till the court uh, hearing is over or till the investigation is over under the allegations of involuntary manslaughter. So the people taking him to court, um, Bimbo's family, the domestic violence organization group of people are pretty much all on this man's case. They're really going for IVD. They want him to at least suffer something, at least best. Because we know involuntary manslaughter is not going to be life in prison. It's not going to be death sentence. He will just do time for a while. But then what is involuntary manslaughter? I guess it just boils down to the fact that if Bimbo did set herself on fire and IVD was there and could have done something to prevent it but didn't do it, yeah, I guess that is probably what they mean by involuntary manslaughter. Or maybe they were fighting as usual, the domestic violence or the domestic case, because they were known to always fight. So maybe in that fight, he may have done something but not with the intention of killing her premeditatively, but his actions or lack of actions thereof may have led to her death, and that is what the uh, persecutors or the people in court are going to prove. And if he's found guilty, he's going to prison for a long time. But if you ask me though, if all the witnesses who were present at the fight are saying that they only know that Bimbo set herself on fire because IVD told them so, then <sighs> maybe maybe just maybe this might have been a voluntary manslaughter i don't know if that is a word is, is it a word i don't know but clearly the people persecuting him only have evidence for involuntary manslaughter and that is what they are working with now and from the look of things it seems like he will be found guilty and there are so many elements that is standing against this man right now that i know will be detriment in his defense number one element is his behavior afterwards. After his wife passed, you know, according to sources, he has not been really kind or nice to the family of his late wife. It's almost like he's at war with everybody and he's so confident in himself that he did not kill his wife or he did not do anything that he feels like he doesn't owe anyone anything. And according to sources too, he had not reached out to his children. That it was even the uh, Bimbo's friends at the time that took the children away and the children are with Bimbo's family side and he had not reached out to the children. There were words that he may have probably sent police to harass the family or arrest them or accuse them of stealing his properties. And he's just picking fights with Bimbo's family and that is a problem because these are the people who are taking you to court and the least you could do is be nice to them. But that is not the case. Now, that is one factor. Another factor also is the new relationship factor that he is having with a popular celebrity. And I don't know if that is helpful, but that seems like a slap on the face. Your wife hasn't been dead for a year and you are now having a relationship with somebody who publicly castigated your wife after she passed. Somebody who came out on the internet to say all the worst things they could say about your late wife. Only for it to turn out that you're now involved with the person. It's not clear if they are dating or if they are together, but they seem to have a friendship. And from the look of things, that friendship is not very helpful to this man's case at all. 
it was even said that when they went to court on the 31st of January 2023 to know for the case hearing, he came late to the court and he came with his friend or date or partner and he dressed up all flashily with a red cap and a white shirt or native or something. It was described as he came to court with so much confidence that he did not even expect or he did not see it coming that he was going to be remanded in prison. He did not see it coming and when the judge ruled that he should be kept in prison, he was shocked, his partner was shocked, his lawyers were shocked, they even went tried to ask for bail but the bail was denied. And the problem with these things that is happening, especially with the way he's treating Bimbo's family, the way he is flaunting his new relationship with a woman who castigated his late wife saying that you know accusing her of doing drugs and drugs played a role of her being the problem of putting all the blames on her it's just so much red flag that even if you had a chance of being found not guilty with all of these things a lot of people wouldn't be on your side and to make matters worse the judge is a woman too a woman who most likely understands the situation maybe if the judge was a man who obviously would see things from the male angle he would have had a small chance of, you know, probably getting bail or probably not being remanded in prison or something. But a woman is the judge. And there is something that feels like she, out of the fact that she would have to do her job as a professional judge, she would have to still relate to this case. She would have to still see that, okay, Bimba was a woman like me. And she knows these things. She knows what women do. She knows what men do. And she can just relate for some reason, if she's able to relate to Bimbo's situation, it's just not going to be good for you. Not to talk about the fact that you are flaunting your new girlfriend who spoke so badly of your late wife that you're being accused of causing her death. It's just too bad for him. I don't see him coming out of this. I really don't see him coming out of this. Maybe if all these other elements weren't in place, maybe if he was nicer to Bimbo's family, maybe if he was remorseful, maybe if he expressed regrets, maybe if he wasn't flaunting his relationship with the woman who castigated his wife on the internet and made a movie about it, maybe if he wasn't doing all of those things, he would have had a better chance of saving lesser time or getting out of it. But from the look of things, it's almost like now we are saying that he might have really been the problem in the relationship. Maybe Bimbo had her issues, but seeing what this man is doing after the fact kind of shows that he wasn't innocent. Shows that he may have been the problem. That is what it's showing. It's looking like, oh wow, okay, we thought maybe it was you and your wife combination that is causing this but he seems like this man on his own can do bad all by himself and clearly nobody even has to make him look bad because he's doing pretty well all by himself and that is why this case may not favor him in the long run but we just have to wait and see the case has been pushed to um 7th of march or so i heard and that is when will be the next hearing and i guess by then the prosecutors will have more charges or more evidence against him which means they would have to call witnesses and from what i'm hearing from a close source one of the three witnesses is no longer alive that is the worker who was supposed to have been witness to the day bimbo died and from what we know before he passed they said they passed a few weeks after bimbo died which is quite suspicious I and mean, from what we hear or from the source that we are getting from our sources, it was said the young man at the time was one of the people who corroborated the story that Bimbo set the fire or set the fire that caused her death. However, he did admit that he only knew that because IVD told him so. So if all these witnesses can actually come out in court and say, okay, I did not see Bimbo set herself on fire, then maybe this might not even just be uh, uh, an involuntary manslaughter. Maybe they would have to raise the charges to murder. That is what it's looking like. They would have to raise the charges to murder unless the witnesses can come up and say um yes she set the fire yes he would have saved her because that is the only way it's involuntary manslaughter because if for some reason there is a possibility that he may have been the one who set the fire this won't be involuntary manslaughter anymore because let's face it he has reasons to do what he would have wanted to do but we'll just see how it goes we'll just see how it goes 
if he goes in for manslaughter, yeah, that's something. I think that will give the family closure because it's such a very unfortunate incident and a very sad one as we hear. And we will just have to keep following this case. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. Stay following this page. Don't forget to turn on notification button should there be any future updates. You'll be the first to get notified because this case is far from over.